Okay, cool. Right, well, hopefully this is uh, not the graveyard shift, more like the big finish. Um, and you don't want a presentation on my train journey home, so I'll pop that there. Um, I come at this from a slightly different angle. I mean, I am a carer. Well, I'm say I'm a carer. I look after my elderly grandparents with my sister, with my mum, with other, other family members. And we have been doing that for quite a few years. My nan has dementia. Um, Gramps doesn't. Um, but they're both very dependent in different ways. They sort of complement each other to a degree, but they are progressively getting worse. So we have coped as a family, but I did a stupid thing um, about two years ago and I asked my girlfriend to, to marry me. So we had a wedding to plan for and that was almost the, the last bit, the, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back or the donkey's back, whatever the saying is, that we were trying to prepare for a wedding, we were still trying to care for our elderly grandparents and I could see that my mum, who was that primary caregiver, was struggling and it was just simple observations. Like we did have a good family around us, but it almost took her so long to ring us around. She phoned me, she'd have to explain the situation of what needed doing. I could or couldn't do it. If I couldn't, she'd phone my sister and she'd have to split, explain it all again. It would take her half an hour each time. It was just really inefficient. And it was actually on honeymoon I came up with, with this idea. Um, I've heard all the jokes about, didn't you have anything better to do on your honeymoon? Um, but it was just, let's see if I can get this to work. You say, the, the problem was if you're a primary caregiver, you're that, that round circle at the end there. You've got all these tasks to do. And if you do that alone, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna end up with probably all of those. You know, it, it really has a negative impact on that person's life. Cure is a free web-based tool that, that helps people share their care tasks, basically. It's a simple premise in that when you're in a time, uh, you know, a bit of a struggling time, people ask you all the time let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Is there something I can do to help? How often do we ever say, could you do this for me? You just say, okay, yeah, thanks very much. Well, actually with Cura, you just take their email address or send them an email and they're linked in. So basically how the website works, you set up a secure community, you invite your friends and family, the people you trust, and then you upload the tasks that you need help with. These people are notified in real time when a new task is added. And if people can help with stuff, they can just take it. And they are managed and they are sent emails and reminders to say you have agreed to do this. Um, and, you know, they're taken through the whole process. And immediately, you know, if I'm just popping that on there, the primary caregivers, call it, call it my mum, her workload is halved, but she's not had to go through that whole process of talking it through with every single person and it really worked for us so I went to a company or a charity called Unlimited and um, they were kind enough to give me some funding to actually make this into a proper website um, which is now it is in a testing phase it, it looks broadly like this you know the, the crooks of it are an interactive calendar you click on a square it opens up a little box you input your task um, and you just you know grab the task with these little little buttons. It's really simple to use. It's quite hard to to show it on a on a still PowerPoint slide. Um, but as as well as adding tasks and sharing tasks, there's a message board so community members can can leave messages of encouragement and support, um, which is also really good because when if I take my nan to the to the hospital, I come back and again I would be phoning around everyone telling them how things went relaying the same story and it would take half an hour, 45 minutes each time. This it just goes into a, a nice, simple place. And the, the benefits of it, as we're using it as a family and other people are using it, and Springwise has been great as a user testing point of view because it's, it's so many people have gone through the site over the last month, is it, it has added benefits of, if I can see my sister's taken 10 tasks and I've only taken one, I feel a little bit guilty and I'll do a few more. Those sorts of things. It's, it's you know, not what it was intended to do, but it sort of works. Um, and 
it's not just, I've come at that from quite a closed off point of view, that's me and that's my family, but people are coming, emailing me now and saying, you know what, I'm recovering from an injury or I'm fighting an illness, I've set up my own community. You know, I manage it, I put on what I need help with and my friends help me with, with what they can. And it's unobtrusive because that's the feedback I'm getting. People feel a little bit, phoning someone up and asking for a favour is quite a personal thing. And people will probably say yes, maybe they feel a bit guilty, they think they should. But actually this is really unobtrusive, so you upload your task. People can say, yeah, I'm passing on Tuesday, I'll pick up your shopping and drop it in, no problem. You know, they can just grab what they can help with. Um, and also, recently, in the last couple of days, childcare seems to be another thing, you know, they can you know, arrange childcare and help in that way. So it's, it's really, I mean, I, I still work full time. I do this completely um, evenings, mornings, weekends. Um, and it is, it is very early days, but the feedback's been phenomenally positive. It is a social enterprise. It is completely free. It will remain completely free. As it grows and we get a sort of critical mass, we will look to add revenue streams to the site, potentially advertising, potentially a premium service, because it does need to sustain itself, you know, hosting fee, security, all that sort of stuff costs money, and we need to cover those costs. Um, but essentially, it is a social enterprise. Um, and that's, that's really the, the crux of it. Excellent, very tangible, um, very different, very tangible, very specific um, uh, perspective. Um, thoughts, questions from the audience? I mean, for me, as a sort of entrepreneur with a, a wife and a, uh, a full-time job, I mean, how do you, how do you know what to prioritize? Because there's presumably so many to-do lists of functionality. How do you kind of decide what to work on? That's a big learning curve because at the moment it's, it is tough. I mean, when you get a good bit of exposure, it's fantastic, but suddenly you get a massive, great big spike in requests. Um, you get some great things like this where you get to come and share the product. Um, you get some people who, uh, you know, uh, uh, it, it's hard to identify, you know, people ask for Skype calls from, you know, the States. There's another chap that phoned me the other day and actually he was just sniffing around for, you know, is there any money in it for him? Could he do something? It's those sorts of things that I think I'll learn and get better at as, as time goes along. It, it is, it, this was, I got married on the 20th of the June last year, so this has been like a year in the making. So it still is a big learning curve. And it... It is a lot of hard work, but it's really worthwhile doing. I mean, it's, it's hard. You sort of think, I've got this good idea and it's free, so why wouldn't people use it? You think it's just going to spread, but it doesn't work like that. You've got to push it so hard and you've got to speak to so many people and sell the story. Um, and it is gathering pace. Every time we get a good bit of coverage, it spikes on the Google Analytics and then it comes down. And when it comes down, it's a little bit higher than it was before. And it's that sort of the pattern that we're seeing. But... Um, yeah, that's our, my, I keep saying our, it's me, you know, <laughs> but trying to like, possibly raise some investment to try and push it a little bit further, um, but it's, uh, it's all work in progress. Does it, well, in terms of interacting? Um, no, not outside the fact that you can like our Facebook page. Um, this, again, from purely personal experience is... My mum just about uses a computer, mm -hmm. but she doesn't use Facebook. She doesn't really get Facebook. She doesn't, you know. So it, her, she was my biggest user testing phase where it was going through. If she could use it and she got it, then great. And that was the sort of what I kept focusing on is it's got to be simple. You've got to almost fall through the website. You can only do what you need to do. There's no real options. It is like each, each page. If I can go back a few slides, actually, there's um, the, the one with the screenshots. You can't really see it, but there's only five pages on the site. The overview is just, as it said, it's just an overview of the, the tasks that are most critical, the most time critical, so people can see it on the front page as they land into their community. The task, which is what generates the whole thing, so you input the tasks here. You can have them to repeat daily, weekly, monthly, two-weekly, whatever. So if it was making lunch, for example, you just put it in every day. 
Um, if it's not time critical, it goes into undated tasks. So things like, you know, can you cut the hedges or paint the shed? It's not you know, time critical, but it needs doing. So that just goes there. And when people can help, they can grab that. Messages is just a message board so the community members can interact with each other. Um, members is just where you add new members. It does, it's not controlled by just one person if you don't want it to. You can make other people admins and they can add tasks and do all that sort of stuff. Um, and some useful information, which is that page there, which is just you can upload you know, where the doctor's surgery is or you know, Nan's favourite hairdresser or whatever. And it just shows you where, where those places are. I mean, it's that and that's it. That is the website and it's really easy to, really easy to use. And I urge you to go and have a look and have a play when you, when you get a chance and let me know what you think. We are still in testing phase, um, so we're trying to get everything perfect as much as we can before we roll it out um, officially. Um, my full-time job, I work for... <laughs> no, work have actually been very supportive. I work for um, a company called Empower. Um, I've not been there very long, actually. I actually joined Empower after I started developing this. Uh, I worked for Virgin Media before that for seven years. Um, my, the honest question is, I would love this to take off and this to be my job. I don't know if that's a reality. It's not going to deter me doing, doing it either way. I think this adds some real value. It's adds some real value to our family and the feedback. I'm, people are just emailing just to say, this is great, thanks. And that in itself has made it worthwhile. But as it stands at the moment, the whole thing has been built with a grant for £4,000. That didn't go very far. The, the, the web design agency and the, um, the designers that, that pulled it together um, were very kind with their, their fees. They saw some value in it and they helped. And there's, you know, there's, a, there's a lot more cost in that than, than four grand. Um, but that's, so that's been really helpful. Um, if it grows and it can generate some money, we can do some better stuff with it. You know, we can, I want to integrate it into a, sort of an app and make it a little bit more mobile than it is. It does work on a smartphone, but it could be better on, a, on an app. Um, but it's sort of watch this space. The address, it's uh, Cura HQ, C U R A H Q dot com. Great. And all of that web information will be on the on our website, aging com, uh, under the events tab with the information and the, the decks and stuff afterwards. Um, but with that, thanks very much. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>